Hey guys, welcome. In this video, we're going to do some mining test with Atlas Geo, which is what this thing is designed for. But before we start, I want to say that uh, mining is not my strong suit. I rarely do any mining except for the Align and Mine events. But in this video, I'm going to do as much as I can. If there's anything I'm missing, if you want to add anything, please feel free to do so. First thing we're going to talk about are the mining heads. Currently in game, we have three mining hats that you can use for the Alice Geo. I assume that you can get these mining hats at all the refineries. But one place I'm certain is at uh, Lorville, Tammy and Sons. Let's take a look. Select utility and you will see all the mining modules here. And then scroll down. The mining hats for the Alice Geo are size zero. So this one, Arbor. MHV mining laser and it's selling for 5150 and the next mining laser is size 0 helix and this one is selling for 8500 and this one the Hofstad I think this is also for the Geos mining laser however it says S00 I'm gonna buy it because when I try to equip this Hofstad I cannot. So it's either a bug or something is wrong. But it does say size 0. But in the title it says size 00. zero. So we'll check that out. Next one, the fourth one is Lawson Mining Laser. This one is the stock laser on your Alice Geo. You already have it. Okay, now let's check out the mining hats for the Alice Geo. For the right hand, you do have the Lawson Mining Laser as a stock laser. You can also see the Arbor mining laser, so is a Helix, but you don't see the Hofstad. So that's why I think that might be a bug, because even though it says size 0, but you cannot equip to the Alice Geo. Also, it looks very similar to all the other mining heads as well, but you just cannot equip it. So we cannot use the Hofstad, which I have no idea what it is good for. But for now, we have these three mining hats, Arbor, Lawson, and Helix. All right, next test, we're gonna check out if we can switch the mining hats for the Alice Geo. So I got this one, this is just a test, doesn't matter which hat. I got this one from my freight elevator. I'm gonna leave it right here. And then, oh yes, you can, this is how Helix. So you can detach this. You don't have to press any unlock button for the Geo. You can simply detach it. There we go. So detach this. You can attach it with a Lawson mining laser, which means you can carry these mining heads to the place you want to do mining. So you can switch those mining heads on the go. However, let's test this. Let's grab a container box and open this container box. And then I'm going to put a mining laser inside this container box. And then I'm going to send it up. So I have one mining laser inside this container box. I open it. You can see it. However, I cannot drop it. Only carryable item may be dropped. I can't drop it. It's not because this is armor zone. You just cannot take this thing out of your container box. You cannot store it in your backpack either. So there is no way you can carry these mining hats except to just transfer them from the freight elevator into your ship and just leave it on your ship. And then you can switch it on the go. There is no container that can carry this nor backpack. Next thing, as we have talked about in the previous video, you can put a max lift tractor beam right here on this side of the Alice Geo. You can also put a mining gadget right here. Look at that. Even though I have no idea how to use this mining gadget, but you can leave it here. Very convenient. And right here, you can put your multi-tool. And now you're all set for a Mining expedition. I'll suit up with this Mac. 
Now, let's compare two sets of data. First set is uh, I took a screenshot from the in-game description of these three mining lasers for the Geo. Lost the mining laser, the Stalk, made by Argo Astronautics. The Helix, made by Thermite Concern. And the Arbor, made by Great Cat Industrial. They are all size zero lasers. And the Lawson is grade C, the Helix is grade B. There is no great information for the Arbor. What's important are these, the optimal and maximum range. For the Lawson, the optimal range is 25 meters. The Helix is 30 meters and Arbor is only 15 meters. So you will have to get close. With this information, you can guess which laser has more power, which has less power. The Helix, I assume it has more power because the optimal range is double the optimal range of the Arbor. The Arbor has less power, so you have to get close. Now, gathering radius, they're all about one meter. And extraction throughput, I think this is something to do with extraction rate. I'm not entirely sure. For the Lawson is four CSU, for the Helix is five CSU per second, and for the Arbor is 10 CSU per second, because it's 0.01 SU per second. Now next are the power transfer and the stability and resistance. We don't have the information for Arbor mining laser. That's why we're going to compare the second set of data. So for the first set of data, let's compare Lawson and Helix. Power transfer for the Lawson mining laser is 35. The Helix is 50. So the Helix has more power than the Lawson mining laser. However, the instability for the Lawson is increased 30% and Helix is 0%. Resistance for the Lawson mining laser is minus 40%, less resistance. And for the Helix is still 0%. The optimal charge window size, this is very important. This is the green bar you see that you have to reach with your power and stay there in order to finish breaking the rock. So the Lawson mining laser has a 40% plus more optimal charge window and the Helix has a negative 40%. So less optimal charge window. An optimal charge window rate. I have no idea what this means. The Lawson is 0%. Optimal charge window rate for the Helix is 20%. But there is no power and instability information about the Arbor mining laser. So let's compare the second set of data, which is from the redmonstergaming.com. And this data is from 3.22 live. I think it is still valid. So all we need to look is at the very bottom. Helix 1, Helix 2, Arbor 1, Arbor 2, even though these are size 1 and size 2 mining lasers. So these data also apply to size 0 mining lasers. So Helix compared with Arbor, you can see the resistance, Helix resistance, minus 30% because Helix has more power and Arbor has more resistance because it has less power. So 25% plus for the Arbor and minus 30% for the Helix. Instability, Helix is zero. We saw that earlier. And for the Arbor is minus 35%. So it's more stable for the Arbor than for the Helix. The optimal charge window, the Arbor is plus 40%. More window, bigger window for the Helix is more narrower. It's negative 40%. Even though there is no official information from that website comparing the Lawson and Arbor. But as we can see from all these data, the Helix has more power but less charge window. And the Lawson and Arbor has more charge window and less power. And especially the Arbor mining laser. The instability minus 35%. But the Lawson instability is plus 30%. So I assume that the Arbor mining laser is more stable than the Lawson mining laser. How exactly these three mining lasers perform in reality, in real gameplay? Let's go check it out, especially for the current Align and Mine event. I need your guys' help later if you guys are free. What's up? Thank you, sir. Planning to test the geo, different geo heads inside the cave. Have you been able to get all four of the mining heads on there? I got or four. I got three out on them. Which is the one that doesn't work? The Hofstad. Hofsteed. Okay. 
Roger. The rock, yeah, I think it's a gate. It's a, a bug because everything I, looks the same. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's on my videos. Hopefully they fix it. But just like what we do, take a site, activate the laser. If someone's there, we'll kill everyone. We take over the site. <laughs> Brute force. Yes, no brutal force. force. <laughs>
than a helix to break this. So, increasing power. Oh! What? This is high power, but I can't even break this rock. Am I doing this right? Yeah, not enough to break that big rock with Arbor. Let's try the small one. Lower power. Yeah, the small one I can break even with high power. The small one has a bigger window and it's more stable. Just tap and tap. It's quite stable. Okay, broke. That's only one. Some rocks has only one Karenite. But this bigger rock, we are not able to break. Even with high power. Low power, let's try a small rock here. Small rock. Oh, low power. It's very stable. The window, optimal window is big. So the upper is very stable for breaking small rocks. Very stable. But the upper cannot break the bigger rock inside the cave. Okay, rock broke. Now let's try the Lawson, the stock mining heads for this. Let's try the bigger rock. With high. Ooh, Lawson is uh, quite unstable. The power goes up really fast and it fluctuates. So you have to tap and stop. Oh, very unstable. It went very high. The red bar is going up. Okay, green. Tap another one. Oh, it went all the way to the top. Ooh, this is going to break. I'm going to waste this, this rock. Yep. Do I have anything? Oh, I don't have any rock. It broke. It melted everything. So the loss in the stock mining heads is quite unstable. Even though it has a bigger window, even though it, it's possible to break the bigger rocks. I'm going to use the low mode to crack the bigger rock. Let's see. Okay, try this one. This is the bigger rock with low power. Increasing power. The optimal window is okay. And that's a negative. The loss of mining has with uh, low power and full power, you cannot break the big rock. I'm gonna try on a small rock. A small rock, the optimal window is really good. Even though it's uh, still quite unstable. The power fluctuates really. Oh, it went to the red. Yeah, the power fluctuates. Now it's breaking. I have one. That's it. Now, it's very clear, at least from my test, this one, the Ukrainian that he's using, this one is with the Helix mining head. Helix is really good at cracking bigger rocks. And the Arbor is really stable at the cracking small rocks. The Lawson, even though it can crack the both small and bigger rocks, but uh, it is quite unstable compared with the other two mining heads.